Hi everyone, this is May Park. Welcome to another Hero Arts video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Polaroid themed card using new destination stamps from Hero Arts. These are new destination stamps from Hero Arts Spring Catalog Collection. Given the number of recent natural disasters in the United States and beyond, Hero Arts has designed these stamps to commemorate and honor some of the places impacted and will donate 100% of their practice on these stamps to those most in need. Check out the Hero Arts blog for more details. This is my first card I made using the destination Puerto Rico stamp. I created my own scene by stamping the flower images from the Marian's flower stamp set and colored them with coping markers. However, I didn't like how my card turned out so I decided to start it over and here's another card design I'm going to make it in this video today. I already pre-cut my paper in the 4 and a quarter inch by 5 and a half inches out of Hero Arts snow layering paper. I'll be using the Stamper Magic Stamp Positioner from EK Success. It allows you to position your wood mounted stamp perfectly in a very specific spot. It is also perfect for multi-step stamping to achieve a nice and solid impression. I'm going to ink up my stamp with black ink and stamp my image onto the clear image pad. Then I'm positioning my image pad of the white cardstock so that the image is where I want it to be. I'm going to remove the image pad carefully and ink up my stamp with Hero Arts Intense Black Ink as I'll be coloring my images with copy markers. Next, I will stamp the Mexico Cityscape image onto my paper. To get a nice and intense impression, I'm going to ink up the stamp with black ink and stamp it one more time onto my paper. Then I'm pulling out my ruler and permanent black marker and carefully drawing some lines to create a Polaroid frame. I chose this black marker just because the size of the tip was similar to the bottom line of my stamp image. I'm going to mask off my Mexico image with a post note and stamp the Florida image on the right side of my card panel. Here I'm using the Destination Florida stamp from Hero Arts. I'm using only two destination stamps for my card today, but it would be fun to use four different city images to stamp on the entire background if you want to. If you don't care about the placement of your images too much, you can totally stamp your images directly without using a stamp positioner. I just wanted to make sure I get a solid stamping impression with a perfect placement. Hero's Intense Black Ink is alcohol mark friendly, but I'm using my heat tool to dry my paper to make sure I don't get my ink smudged while coloring. Now I'm going to color my images with coping markers. I'm not going to do any blending but simple coloring to enhance the graphic look of my card design. You could color your images in details if you want to achieve a realistic look of the scenes. Once my coloring is done, I'm pulling out my sentiment stamps from the You Are Loved Messy stamp set. This stamp set is designed to spread handmade kindness to people who need it most. You can help us support kindness as heroes donate 100% of their net profits on this stamp set to the KIND campaign through Heroes Kindness Charitable Campaign. I'm stamping my sentiments along the lines using Heroes Intense Black Ink. Then I'm going to mount my panel onto the A2 size top folding white card base using a glue tape. That's all for today. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Heroes YouTube channel so you won't miss any new video from Hero Arts. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time with another video. Bye bye!